Assalamu alaikum guys. Today's video is very special. In every research, econometric or economic, or even statistical, we need to show stationarity table. What is stationarity table and what is stationarity? In today's video, we will be discussing two areas. One is unit root test, which is also called stationarity test. Second is to create stationarity table for our research study. Unit root is a problem that can wrongfully suggest the problem of association. To get reliable results from our research study, we must make sure that our data has no unit root. Or in other words, our variables should be stationary. So, stay tuned. I will tell you how to check for unit root in variables using Gretel software, we will simultaneously test for stationarity and create stationarity table as well. To begin, let me show you what a stationarity table looks like. I'll open my one of my research study. It's a stationarity test and this is stationarity table. ADF test results, augmented Dickey Fuller test results. These are my variables. They have been checked at level, and this is the p value. The same variables are also checked at first difference. And as you guys can see, that all these variables are stationary at first difference. So our focus would be that our variables should at least be stationary at first difference. If they are not stationary at level, they must be stationary at first difference. So let's go to Gretel software and check for stationarity. I will close this down. I will open Gretel. I would like to open my data. This is data set. This is my data, so I would drag it to Gretel and drop it. Start import at column 1, row 1. Okay. Now these three are my variables. Consumption is my dependent variable. Income and relative price are my independent variables. I have basically two aims. One, I have to find out the unit root in my variables. Number two, I have to create a stationarity table. This is stationarity table. So I have to create a stationarity table like this. Okay. Now our criteria for checking unit root is very simple. If the p value comes out to be less than 0.05 or 5%, it would mean that the variable has no unit root. If the p value of the variable is more than 0 0.05 it would mean that the variable is not stationary or it has a unit root so i would first take a copy of this table copy and paste it in this new document i would replace these variables with my own variables my first variable is consumption. My second variable is income. My third variable is relative price. I would write these here as well. Consumption. Income relative price. I have to find out the unit root at level and also at first difference. So let me show you how to find out unit root. I will minimize this. Minimize this also. This is my Gretel interface. I would find out the unit root for consumption variable. So it's very simple. I would click on consumption. Then I would go to variable. Then click on unit root tests. These are different kinds of tests for unit root. 
for example, ADF, GLS, augmented Dickey Fuller, KPSS, fractional integration. However, augmented Dickey Fuller test is the most widely used. So I would prefer this one. I would click on augmented Dickey Fuller test. I would do it with constant. I would re uh, leave all things as it is. And here it says use level up variable. If we go to our table, here it says at level. The p value at level will be pasted here. Here I would select use level up variable first. Okay. Now this is the p value 0 0.548. What does it mean? As this value is more than 0 0.05, so at level the consumption variable is not stationary. It has a unit root. I would copy this and paste it in my table. Paste it here. Now I would find out the p value at first difference now. So I would again go to Gretel. I would uh, close this Gretel same process variable unit root and augmented Dickey Fuller test now I would select use first difference of variable I would click OK the p value here is clearly less than 0 0.05 which means that the variable at first difference is stationary or it has no unit root. So I would copy this and paste it in my table here. Now I would find out the unit root of income variable at level and at first difference. So I would go to I would go to greater select income click on variable I would first do it with a use level of variable. So, okay. As you can see that the p value here is less than 0 0.05. It means at level, this variable, which is income, is stationary. So, I would copy it and paste it in my table. I would again go to greater. Same process. Here I would select at first difference. Okay. The p value is still less than 0 0.05. It means even at first difference, the income variable is stationary or it doesn't have a unit root. Copy, paste it in my table. Now I would find out the unit root for relative price. At level and also at first difference. So I would go again to greater, select relative price, click on variable, unit root test, augmented Dickey Fuller test, use level of variable. Okay. The p value here is less than 0 0.05. So relative price is stationary at level. It has no unit root. I would copy it and paste it in my table here. Now I would go for the p value at first difference. So I would go to variable unit root. And here I would select use first difference of variable. Okay. As you can see, p value here is still less than 0 0.05. So relative price is stationary at first difference also. Copy and paste. So, so this is what a stationarity table looks like. These are my variables. This is the p value at level. These are again my variables and this is the p-value at first difference. So 
after the analysis of this table we are safe to say that all the variables are stationary at first difference it means that all these variables have no unit root at first difference however at level only variable consumption or the first variable which is also the dependent variable is not stationary however it is stationary at first difference so this table tells us that we are safe to carry on with our research it will get us good results thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel